let's do a little discussion here. You know the functions that you've studied? They all have domains, right? So continuity got a lot with domain. So for each function in the domain, Right. Uh, so sometimes domain is just one interval. So on the uninterrupted, uninterrupted interval, f at x is continuous. See, so. Here's what I mean. For example, 1 over x, the domain is x belongs to minus infinity to 0. There's an interruption here, right? Yeah. This is what I mean by interruption. It stops and then goes to infinity. This is a domain, so it's defined everywhere but 0. But within that uninterrupted domain, it's continuous everywhere. That's what I'm saying. Okay. For example, tangent 2. The domain is like this. It's from like minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. And then it gets interrupted. Pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2. It gets interrupted again and it keeps on going like that, right? Within the non-interrupted part of the domain, it's continuous everywhere. Now these two, these are parabolas. They are good everywhere. They're never interrupted. The only place they will be interrupted is because of the fact that I wrote it as a piecewise function. So where would they get interrupted? Their domain. At 2 only, right? Mm -hmm. So as long as the 2, right? right so at so if at x equals 2, the left hand limit is equal to the right hand limit. And it's continuous everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so left hand limit, we gotta use the top equation. And uh, all you have to do is plug in 2. So you get 2c minus 1 squared. Right hand limit is equal to the one at the bottom. So you get 4c squared minus 1. So as long as this is good, meaning 2c minus 1 squared is equal to 4c squared minus 1, our limit exists everywhere. Our, it's continuous everywhere, right? So we have 4c squared minus 4c plus 1, 4c squared minus 1, minus 4c is equal to minus 2, so c is half. So if C is half, it's continuous everywhere. 